Let's take a look at a few more practice problems for balancing. In three additional practice problems, once again, you can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to try and balance these on your own and then check your approach against my answers, or you can go ahead and just watch the video. Let's go ahead and take a look at problem number one. So the first problem, we have methane, CH4, plus O2, forming CO2 and water. I've left out the physical states on these just to, so that we can focus on the balancing, um, but normally you would have these them in the problem. First, we want to identify what type of reaction we're working with here. That'll help us to approach the problem appropriately. In this case, I can see I have carbon and hydrogen here bound together, and it's combining with oxygen Ooh, that's that's a combustion. I've got carbon, uh, uh, hydrocarbon forming, combining with oxygen to form CO2 and water. Products are always CO2 and water, and so we'll see this uh, again and again. It's kind of a clue to you if you see CO2 and water as your products. CH4, so when we're doing a, a combustion, remember we go carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So our carbon, hydrogen, Oxygen, hydrogen, oxygen. So on the left, I have one carbon, four hydrogens, two oxygens. On the right, I have one carbon, two hydrogens, and one, two, three oxygens. My carbons are balanced. My hydrogens are not. I've got four on the left, two on the right, so I need to put a coefficient here. Two, two times two gives me four. That also is going to change my number of oxygens, because now I've got two from the CO2, plus two from the H2Os for four oxygens. Four oxygens versus two, and I need to put a coefficient of two here to balance out my equation. So now I've got 2 times 2 gives me 4. So I have 1 carbon, 1 carbon, 4 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens, 4 oxygens, 4 oxygens. Okay. The next problem, we'll take a look at um, double replacement in uh, other videos. But this, we have hydrogen is going to be coming over here because notice there's no hydrogen in this formula. SO4, that's our sulfate. So looking at our polyatomic ions, the sulfate stays whole over here. Our lead comes over here. So lead is coming over here. Sulfate is going over there. And what's happening to the hydrogen and the OH? is that they are coming together and forming the water. So this is actually a double replacement reaction. If you think about water as being H, O, H. So the H from H2 here and the OH from lead, hydroxide, lead 4 hydroxide are combining to make the water. So if we think about what's happening how are these combining? That's going to make our balancing simpler because we're working with uh, our polyatomic ions here that are not breaking apart. Sulfate is still sulfate on the right, so we can treat the sulfate as a unit. So I have my H2, so that's those are H plus ions, and I have sulfate ions. I have two H plus ions, and I have one SO4 two minus ion. From this formula, I have Pb four plus, and I have OH minus. I have four of the OH minuses. On the right, I have Pb, 4 plus, one of those. 
SO4 minus, I have two of that. From H2O, I'm going to have each H2O is going to be made up of one H plus and one OH minus. You can think about, you know, these two come together and they cancel out and that's why you get H2O. We'll look a lot more at this when we look at acids and bases later on in the semester. So I have two H pluses. Uh, so I've got, you know, a lot of different things going on here. Water, probably the simplest thing we've got here. So I can, I'm going to leave the H's and the OH's to last. Uh, there's a lot of different ways we could approach this, but that's probably going to make it the easiest for us. So I'm going to start with lead. Lead, 4 plus, I've got one on the left, one on the right. So that's already balanced, that's good. Uh, let me take a look at my sulfates. I have one sulfate on the left, one sulfate on the, or two sulfates on the right. So if I put a 2 here, I have two sulfates. Change that to four hydrogen ions. Two sulfates on the left, two sulfates on the right. My leads are taken care of. Now I'm going to look at my hydroxide, because that's a lot more complicated than H+. I have four OH minuses from this formula. I need four here. So I'm going to put a four in front of this. I need four. OH minuses, that's going to also give me 4H plus, 4H plus, 4H plus, 2SO4, 2 minus, 2SO4, 2 minus, 4H minus, 4H minus. Everything here is balanced using these two coefficients. We'll do a lot more of this with acid-base chemistry, so if this isn't quite making sense, then that's okay. You'll, you'll get more practice with this with acid-base chemistry. The last problem I want to look at is another one that goes with thinking about what is actually happening in a reaction. So I have here uh, Fe2O3 plus carbon monoxide forming Fe. Uh, so this is just iron, so solid iron, no charges or anything like that, and carbon dioxide. Now, it helps to think about what's happening in this problem. So to be able to balance this, Think about what, where carbon monoxide here is getting its oxygen from. So carbon monoxide is going to need just one of these oxygens to form CO2. So CO, you add an oxygen to it, it's going to be CO2. It's the only place it could get the oxygen from. There's three oxygens here. So I'm going to need three carbon monoxides to get rid of those three oxygens in that formula. There's a lot of different ways that you could approach this problem, but that's the simplest, is to look at what's actually happening chemically. So if I look at this, I've got Fe, O, and C, E, C. To start, I've got two, one, Three, four, two, one, and one. Okay. So I'm going to do this a little bit you know, differently because I'm going to look at, okay, this oxygen is going to combine with the CO. So I'm going to first try seeing what happens if I put a three there. It might not work. We'll see. If I put a three here, and I've got three C's and I've got three six O's. If I look and put a three here to make it three car, I'm going to get three C's and six O's. A lot simpler than doing kind of trial and error. You can also do this using trial and error. You can try different numbers, see how it works out, and adjust as you go along. It does take a lot longer if you don't think about what's actually happening chemically. Let's take one last look at the 
answers for each of those. Uh, I forgot to put the two in there because notice it pointed. So two here, one there. Two. Always double check. I didn't double check on that last one. That's what I did wrong. So now I've got two iron, two iron, six oxygen, six oxygen, three carbon, three carbon. Always double check. So those are the answers for those balancing, and uh, make sure and do lots of practice. <laughs>